Soccer fans, sponsors of the 2018 Chattanooga FC Women include Little Debbie Snack Kings, EPB Fiber Optics, CHI Memorial Hospital, JDH Company Incorporated, Kelly Subaru, The Hutton Company, Remax Properties, Rock City, Chattanooga Center for Sports Medicine, the Sports Bar, Powerade, Tasty Donuts, Chick-fil-A, and Little Caesars Pizza. Josie Morshe, number 18, Carson Parker, number 17, Lizzie Shaughnessy. Your midfielders are number 6, Hannah Deering, number 23, Emily Sadler, number 33, Haley Nichols. And your forwards are number 11, Carly Banks, number 8, Sam Davian, number 13, Caitlin Newsom, number 24, Randy Greenwald, and the male scout player for that team will be Ramsey Siegel. For the white team and the OPA team is your players in gold will be number one, uh, Danielle Krasniak, number 25, Taylor Green, number 28, Lawrence Heal will all be goalkeepers today. Your back line is number 21, Kate Dirksy, number 20, Des Robinson, number 19, Mia Hollingsworth. Blue versus white. Mia Hollingsworth, number four, Anna Lynch. Little Debbie Swiss Rolls versus Oatmeal Cream Pie. Brooke, Ladies, let's seven, play Collins, number soccer. Sandra Wade. This is... 
is the final preseason game before we start regular season play. It's coming for a quite throw in. Along the far sideline. This one's stolen by Cooper. Cooper. Just a little bit too much room. Here's to be Sam Davis. This one ahead. Beautiful ball for her sister Summer Lanter working on the outside left corner of the box. Cross. It's bobbled around and Blue is able to clear it. It's good defense by Blue. It's aggressive passing by, by White. They were able to get all the way up into the box. Kayla Newsom trying to run this one down and she does. One on one, she's going to pass it out to Carson Parker. Parker's going to put a ball in the box, and Harley Banks, not quite able to handle it, but the idea is great. She's in hand. trying to kick, and she's not in the best position here. This is not the favorable, favorable position to start the game, looking directly into the sun. And there is hardly a cloud in the sky. So we blue throw in here. Great pass. 
dash towards Sam Damien. Damien with a cross towards the goal, just a little bit over Carly Banks' head. White is able to catch up and play some defense. Sam is way trying to control this thing. That's a big new ball. Crossing midfield. Pass ahead. Stolen by Vince Shaughnessy. Shot in here, and the header is just over the crossbar. White trying to put some pressure on Blue and goalkeeper Cassette Morche. Cassandra Wade with a header attempt for the white team just over the crossbar. 33 minutes left to go in the half. You can't say that the game hasn't been exciting so far. We've seen both teams in each other's bodies on a number of occasions, trying to really fool these goalkeepers who have done a great job so far.
lost by Ashley Manning. And this one's still very much in play on that far side of the box. This kick in here, saved by Kazette Morshay. Big long goal for the white team, Kazette Morshay with a save for the blue. But I've been really impressed with how much pressure White has been putting on. Blue. 
because they have more Shea to kick this one in. But the times that Kuziniak has been tested today, she's made the right decision every single time. So White's going to have this one again. Staying aggressive, pushing the pace. Cross kick and it bounces off the back of the blue defender. And this is going to be another shot on goal just over the crossbar. And sometimes it just comes down to probability. If you keep putting pressure on the keeper, no one is 100%. stepped up in a very, very big way. So, giving the players some time to... Soccer fans, special hydrate. entertainment coming up and at halftime. Really Willian Farns will be doing a Mother's Day there, presentation. Nine, also at halftime, Chattanooga is, FC women will be tossing the out the miniature soccer balls for Most all the, the fans youngsters, fans along with some CFC women's stands. plush toys. That's all coming up at... I'd like to go ahead and wish all the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. All the mothers that make America and make the great city of Chattanooga so great. Once again, Chattanooga FC women would like to thank their 2018 sponsors. That include Chattanooga Center for Sports Medicine, Rock City, Remax Properties, The Hutton Company, Kelly Subaru, The Sports Bar, Powerade, Chick-fil-A, Tasty Donuts, Little Caesars Pizza, JDH Company Incorporated, CHI Memorial Hospital, EPV Fiber Optics, and of course, Little Debbie. That is going to be a concern today. And that's the reason why we do have the male scout players for, for each team just providing some extra bodies to put out there on the field. We're going to need each team with three or four goalkeepers today. have some players today who are on the squad, but absent from the game today. Ashley Cade, Caitlin Hayes, Madison Ricketts, Jessica Shepard, Kenzie Killigan, and Avery Davis are all missing from the game today. A lot of those names should sound familiar to you if you follow the Chattanooga FC women. usually out there, but today, today they are, they are absent, so the Blue White game is going to carry on without them, and we've had a good game As we so continue far. the first half, your pace, score, blue team nil, white team nil. A lot of good soccer now, we'll see if either team can convert this into, into goals in any particular kind of way. This pass is stolen. Cassandra Wade, Wade's going to make a really good pass to Ashley Manning, who did a great job trying to stay on side there. Summer Lanter, inside the box, he's going to push it over to Manning, and it's going to bounce around before it's cleared away by Lizzie Shaughnessy, who defensively has been all over the place. White's going to regain control of this one, Brooke Burkle. Hollingsworth. This one's going back into the box. 
Summer Lancer. Fires too high of the goal. That's one of those shots that's tougher than it looks because you've got to be able to get the right amount of touch on it. You've got a defender behind you. You've got to turn and kick. It's a high difficulty shot. That's why you don't see it made all too often. Blue's going to put this one up. And uh, 
back across midfield and give Blue some space to work with. Lancer breaks it up. White working the way across the field, the far side of the field, and across the midfield line. Great defensive play there by Carly Banks of Blue. White still able to maintain control. They're forcing the issue again. A shot on goal here. Blocked. Shot on goal by Sandra Wade. And the next shot again just over the crossbar. You can't see that White hasn't Get had their chances. Get on goals for the White team. It's hard to have a great defense from the Blue team. The and the save consists more shade in goal. Hasn't been playing well. It is because White has given themselves so many opportunities. But this is going to be a corner here for White. And they have been incredible in these positions so far. They've got a number of shots on the goal. Anytime they just get the ball into play in the box. And here's a good play of one. Blue clears it. White maintains it. Mia Hollingsworth with another shot on goal. Cazette Morche with another save. And a nifty move. Defense by Brooke Purple and White's going to take it. Purple moves it over to Lanza. Lanza can pick it up to midfield. And then take it back. White team's done a really good job of using the space. That's just almost why the Lanza gathers it. Save three little Debbies on the field as part of the meet and greet. 
tonight for the Chattanooga FC women. So if you want Swiss rolls, you're rooting for the blue team. If you want the oatmeal cream pie, you're rooting for the white team. Either way, you, the fan, wins. A little Debbie on the field after the game from the players, courtesy of Little Debbie Snack Cakes and Chattanooga FC women. trying to run this thing down. And she's actually beaten to the spot by Brittany Reed of Blue. It's knocked out of bounds by Reed. It'll be a goal kick here. Davian with a good through ball 
and the shot Krasiniak with another monster save. He's gonna hurl this one over to the far sideline. White team trying to push the issue here on the counter. Trying to stay on side, the shot on goal, and Morche answers with a save of her own. Zed Morche in goal. I mean, we're watching incredible offense, and what you could say is good offense with better defense for both goalkeepers. the kick on goal for the white team. Corner here for White as Moshe was not able to hang on to that one. Moshe scoops it up. It looks like we've got a player who's rattled out there on the field. I'll get your number as soon as I can see. that we've seen so far, but this still is a practice game as much as anything else. And so, you know, take your time. Hydration. Your score at halftime, soccer fans, blue team, nil, white With team, nil. Once again, halftime presentation sky. coming up from Woolly and Farms. Not Should be very entertaining for this Mother's Day. Also, the mini soccer balls and plush toys will be thrown out for the youngsters to corral from Chattanooga FC. We do have a little bit, little bit of a breeze going, but ultimately the heat's not going anywhere. So the play is taking their time to hide from. I'm not sure if the discrepancy is hot. This is not something that usually happens in most games. Usually you just play through. They typically have this option to play, and a lot of the, the fans, a lot of kids coming down. This game is a lot of different things at once, right? It is a way to find out what your roster is going to look like to get a final look at some of these players. It is a way for the fans to come out and engage with the players and get to know the Chattanooga FC women and the kids to come out and see some of the players that they like and maybe come away with some of those little soccer balls that they're throwing up there. And it's just a competitive game. I mean, ultimately you have competitive players we want to win players from all over the country. You see a list of the universities that these players are from. Texas A&M, University of Arkansas, Kennesaw State, Murray State, LSU, MTSU, Covenant College, Bryan College, Virginia Tech. So yeah.
field after the match if the blue team wins. It'll be the Swiss Rolls. If the white team wins, it'll be the oatmeal cream pie. second half. I believe 40 minutes put on the clock this half. So the last half did not run long. But uh, we have some short halves and Blue's going to take control of this one here. Running that one down for Blue is Sam Davian and Davian works herself into the corner trying to break free. She gets a little bit of assistance from Sadler and it's still broken up by Mia Hollingsworth. This one will be a blue throwing. Lizzie Shaughnessy is going to throw this one in. And a nice header there and a shot on goal by uh, Jamie Cooper. White blocks it and breaks it up, and White on the counterattack. This one's going to bounce off of the back of a blue player. Yeah. 
they're gonna, they're gonna work their way back inside for maybe another opportunity. Honestly, avoiding the trap. And that pass misfired. Cooper's got it right. Davian might have a look at it, and that one's going to sail just a bit over the top of the crossbar. Defensively, trying 
give themselves a chance at the counter. Don't want to repeat of the first half where White held the ball for most of the half. has 
broken up by white. crossing the midfield circle. Here comes Blue. That's a good ball over towards Banks. Banks with a cross kick. Davy has a beat on it. Passes it back towards Newsom. And Newsom lost control.
2018 sponsors for making all of this happen. They include Little Debbie Snack Kings, EPB Fiber Optics, CHI Memorial Hospital, JDH Company Incorporated, Kelly Subaru, The Hutton Company, Remax Properties, Rock City, Chattanooga Center for Sports Medicine, The Sports Bar, Powerade, Tasty Donuts, Chick-fil-A, and Little Caesars Pizza. Don't forget, soccer fans, immediately following the match, meet and greet with the players on the field and free Little Debbie snack cakes for each fan. take this time to give you a little bit of the upcoming schedule here for the Chattanooga FC women. This is their final preseason game, so the next game that they play in will be the first game of the regular season will be the Emerald, Emerald Horse SC. They'll come down from Knoxville and they'll be here in Finley Stadium to play our ladies in blue. That game is going to kick off at 6 p.m. and then May 26th, Chattanooga FC will travel to Alabama and play Alabama FC. That game will be on at 7 p.m. And then back here at Finley Stadium for the third game of the season and the second home game of the year. That game starting at 6 p.m. against the Nashville Rhythm, Nashville Rhythm FC. As the players start to come back out onto the field here and we have a few of the male scout players that I mentioned earlier coming out onto the field. Ramsey Siegel is the male scout player for the Paluzzi. Kyle Mori is the male scout player for the White.
I had. Harley Banks. Well defended by Kyle Mori. And Lancer. Keeping that one from rolling out of bounds. White can continue their offense. one in and she tried to get the header on over to Siegel and he just missed it. The clock is reading at ten and a half minutes left in the half. I'm not entirely certain how accurate that is. The half substitution for the white team minutes. entering number 14, Summer Lenter. Substitution sponsored by the Hutton Company. Thank you. 
almost turned over, but they maintain. Seven, Ruth Rosale. Substitutions sponsored by the Hutton Company. And Ruth Rosales will come in for White. Haley Nichols coming in for Blue. Nichols has it now. There at midfield, well defended by White. And get the number there, Davian.
has been very aggressive and proactive in making sure that White doesn't even get any really good shots at him. White's got an opportunity here, fires into the box, and Adam Sadler with a diving save. It's a high five from some Cassandra of the Wade with the kick on goal for the white team. Abby Sadler with a save for the blue team. This one's going to be a corner kick here for white. It looks like Hoover going to kick the corner. Against 
so those from South Carolina kick off at 6 p.m. right here at Fort Finley. Make your plans to attend now. Thank you for attending the Generative FC Women's Blue Ball Game. Please place your trash in a nearby receptacle that will help you clean up greatly. And please drive home safely. Great day, thank you for joining us, and happy Mother's Day.